Hey, what's up, YouTube? DHR2. Um, welcome to my third art video, voice over my art drawing. So we're going to be coloring Tommy, the White Ranger, from Animal Movies Season Two and Three. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about Jason Dipper Frank about the story of wanting to leave Power Rangers and do something else. He wanted to do a show called Cybertron, um, which is based off VR Troopers. Um, the Metal Hero series is basically similar to the Super Sentai when it comes to the camera work, but only this time is way beyond different from that franchise. So, the story came about is that kids will not eat their cereals and go to school every day until Tommy comes back to Power Rangers. And Savant basically had to have Jason David Frank to come back to do Power Rangers for season two and three. But this time, a different ranger color and a different role. So, the story of season two behind the scenes is when um, um, Austin St. John, Walter Jones, and Dewey Train actually left the show due to a money dispute. They wanted to pay their stuntmen with more money as well as they wanted to get more money. So, once they all left the show... Um, Everything just went down south for some people, but the show was getting popular more and more hot at the time. Um, so basically, Tommy was coming back from a swim. Zonor and Alpha teleport him to the command center to work on his White Ranger powers. Billy discovers it and tells everybody that Zonor and Alpha, I mean Zonor and Alpha, are making a new Ranger. So. Zonai actually told the Rangers that he kept it as a secret for a surprise. Um, so Tommy was given a sword named Saba. Saba will assist him in every Megazord battles and land battles. Land battles, I mean. Um, so once he got his his powers, he got his Tiger Zord. He activated it. Um, first defeated. The the three clones from Die Ranger. By the way, he's White Ranger. His White Ranger costume is very different from the original five, except it doesn't have diamonds and stuff like they do. Their costumes is dinosaur thing. His is not. His is more martial arts, Chinese mythology thing based on Gosei Sentai Die Ranger from Japan. That's what season two, 94 and 95 was adapted from. Um and what I love about the White Ranger is his costume. His is very unique. I love the designs. His costume fits the White Tiger thing. And his one-on-one -on -one fight with Goldar was very classic. It was a lot of fun to watch during, well, in early season two, um, White Ranger fight scenes with Goldar and Scorpina. Um, I missed the um, overvoice ADR work for America Power Rangers when it was filmed in LA <laughs> LOL but um in season 3 his character was more serious cause once Tommy became the White Ranger it became a Tommy and Kimberly show all over again they barely have any original well I mean everybody else Lily had no development. Well, everybody else has though, but Rocky was the worst Ranger and still is in season, in season two and three. He had his moments, but he's still the worst Red Ranger of all time. That's just my opinion. So hate me for that. I don't care. Um. Anyways, in season three, Tommy was given the Falcon, the Falcon Zord, the White Shogun Zord, and that's about it. Um. But he did. Face Lord Zed one time trying to save Kimberly from stripping her powers away. Um, I thought that moment was really great, um, showcasing how legendary Tommy is. Him finding Lord Zed for the first time in Power Rangers history. Um, he did fight Godard and Rito one time when he was kidnapped inside of a cave. Um, he Went to go look for the Zeo Crystal, signing up for the next season, by the way. But Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers did that 
which is terrible by the way. Uh, don't watch that garbage. So, uh, so Tommy ends up getting, getting his hands on the Zeo Crystal, and they basically shattered the Zeo Crystal. But the star shape was the last bit that was on there. Again, they were setting it up for the Power of the Zeo back in '96 when the Alien Rangers was airing. Um. So, the last time you, we've seen Tommy as a White Ranger when he was fighting the Tango Warriors at the carnival during Catherine's birthday, but Master Val turned um, the Rangers into kids again, which setting up for the Alien Rangers saga was just one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life, and it still is. I hated their voice over work. I hated their... There are civilian forms, aliens, alien and ninjas are not, do not mix well. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make any sense. So here I am, um, finish up with, um, Prisma Color and Gold. So basically I used Marker first before I went on to, to use Prisma Color Gold, um, just to shade in that, um, dark to light area because... I'm drawing my characters with dark to light shadows, so whatever area that they're in. So um, I like the way that this came out, but unfortunately, my camera basically cut off due to you know storage, which is kind of stupid because I thought I had everything set up because I did not want to re had its maximum reach, you know. Sometimes when you're trying to record a longer video, the camera keeps cutting off for no reason, and I'm really getting sick of it. But, um, then Tommy came back in Super Ninja Steel, that 25th anniversary special that they got well, going on, and I did a reaction to that, but unfortunately, it got claimed by Hasbro, and I don't know if it's removed, but it was blocked in some countries, but it's still on my Power Rangers playlist, just... Look it up, and you'll see me reacting to it. But the only thing I did not like about the episode is when the fight felt rushed between Tommy and his clone. It could have been longer. But Nick Loney ended up um, uploading a three, well, a three-minute fight between the two Tommies, Dino Thunder Black, Zeo White, and Green, which was really nice. Um, the one that was aired on Nick Loney felt rushed. They edited out, well, they cut out. The part when Tommy and his clone was doing the unmorphed fight, which is kind of dumb on their point. I mean, uh, on their part. But unfortunately, it's on Netflix. So, but uh, he came back as a White Ranger, um, summoning his Falcon Zord to finish off the monster. Then the Rangers um, blasting the monster by killing him, which is kind of odd. So, yeah. Hopefully, you all enjoyed my. Um, my art video and my voice over work. Um, if you did, hit the subscribe button, comment, and hit that like. And until then, this is the HR2 signing out.